。Hello everyone， 我是小华。咱们这套幼儿英语启蒙分析绘本，家长拿到手之后，怎么跟孩子一起读起来呢？我推荐大家采用亲子阅读的方式，也就是家长读绘本给孩子听。那么读绘本的时候，除了我们照着字一个字一个字的念之外，还有什么其他的方式呢？我就拿其中的一本书给大家举一个例子。这本书叫《Henry and the Mirror》。比如说，我们拿到一本书之后，跟孩子一起翻看嘛，最先看到的就是绘本的封面。一般看到绘本的封面，我们怎么处理呢？我们第一呢，肯定是跟孩子一起来读题目啦。比如，你可以跟孩子说 ，The story is called Henry and the Mirror。哎，一边用手指着，一边跟孩子去读出。绘本的题目，然后呢，就是跟孩子一起整体观察封面。比如，你可以用英文，也可以用中文，这样问孩子哈 ：What can you see on the cover？ 哎，你在封面上看到什么呢？你看这个封面的主体，它是这个小男孩。那这个小男孩是 Henry 吗？那么 Henry 跟镜子之间又发生了什么故事呢？这就是我们可以引导孩子去观察的东西。那么用英文呢，我们就可以说 ：Who is the little boy？ Is he Henry？ What happens with Henry in the mirror？ Henry 和 Mirror 之间有什么事情呢？然后我们就可以说 Let's find out。我们一起读一读吧，或者说 Let's read。然后我们就可以一起读书啦。读书的过程当中，当然啦，我们是要按照文字去读啦。比如说 ，Who is the baby? He is walking just like me。我们在读绘本的时候啊，不一定一定要每一句每一句都指，因为小孩子呢，他最关注的不是绘本里的文字，而是绘本当中的插画。所以我们可以一边指着插画，一边给孩子读。比如说。Who is the baby? He is walking just like me. 然后呢，我们可以跟孩子稍微的讲解一下，那么尽量用英文，当然用中文也是完全 OK 的。比如我们可以说 ，He is walking. Oh, this baby is walking just like me. 嗯，这样呢，除了读文字，然后呢跟孩子讲解画面之外，我们还可以适当的让孩子想想后面会发生什么。比如我们可以跟孩子讲 ，What's going to happen next? 然后说完句话再翻页，这样呢让孩子对下面有一个期待。那么在读完故事之后呢，我们可以做一些什么呢？读完故事之后啊，我们可以问一些非常简单的问题。最简单的问题，比如说 ，Do you like the story？ 你喜欢这个故事吗？那另外呢，也可以问孩子 ，What's your favorite part？ 你最喜欢的部分是什么？然后呢，我们就可以跟孩子一起翻回去。哎，嗯，如果。孩子指不出来，你甚至可以先告诉孩子说 ，This is my favorite part， 或者说我最喜欢这一页，或者呢，你可以用中文问孩子，哎，你最喜欢哪一页呢？指给妈妈看一下。最后啊，我们这套分级绘本后面还配了。中文的翻译，不过这套中文翻译呢，主要是给家长做参考的。如果家长们想要给孩子解释，又不知道怎么解释，可以翻过来偷偷看一看。但是啊，我们尽量不要让孩子去自己去看翻译，还是要跟他在一起进行英文阅读，这样比较好。好啦，这就是跟孩子一起用起这套幼儿英语启蒙分级绘本的方法。你好，我是小华，我曾经是中央级电台的首席英文主播，资深口译议员，现在我是带领数万家庭成功帮孩子英语启蒙的老师。家长给孩子做亲子阅读的时候，最难的部分是什么？是选书，因为经典绘本呢非常有趣，但是书中经常出现比较难的词儿，孩子不好理解。分级读物呢，难度阶梯倒是很科学，但是呢又没有那么大的意思。现在我和海豚传媒专门研发了为英语非母语孩子创作，就是我手上的这一套幼儿英语启蒙分级绘本。每一集呢是十二册，它的语言简单，但是故事又非常有趣。十二本书全部都是故事，可以说完美的把绘本和分级读物的优势结合了起来，零基础的孩子也能看懂。比如说套戏里面的这本《I Want To》和《Bath Time Fun》，都是孩子最喜欢的韵文绘本。Yucky or Yucky 呢？这个故事最后有反转，而像 Good Morning 啊、The Shape Book 这样的书呢，小朋友们需要很仔细的去绘本里面寻找插画的小心机。这套故事的插画呢，我们也是和国外的优秀插画师团队合作，反复的打磨，最终呈现出来的产品可以说是一套非常优质的儿童分级绘本。英语启蒙听上去很难，家长需要每天给孩子进行亲子阅读，需要亲自上阵。但是只要选对了书，其实一点也不难。我们只要细水长流的进行，让孩子每天都能听到好听的故事就可以了。相信我的这套海豚幼儿英语分级绘本，一定能成为孩子启蒙路上的坚强助力，帮孩子的英文插上翅膀。
Good morning. Good morning, son. Morning, milk. Hello, eggs. Greetings, orange. Lovely day, bread. Nice to see you, sausages. Morning, mom. Look, mom, a kitten. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Good morning, kitten. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Good morning. Good morning, sun. Morning, milk. Hello, X. Greetings, Orange. Lovely day, Bread. Nice to see you, Sausages. Morning, Mom. Look, Mom, a kitten. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Good morning, kitten. Henry and the mirror. Who is the baby? He is walking just like me. Who is the baby? He is waving his hands just like me. Who is the baby? He is jumping just like me. Oh no! That baby is gone. Where is he? That baby is back. I make a funny face. So does he. Oh, that baby is me. Little Henry. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Henry and the Mirror. Who is the baby? He is walking, just like me. Who is the baby? He is waving his hands, just like me. Is the baby? He is jumping, just like me. Oh no, that baby is gone. Where is he? That baby is back. I make a funny face. So does he. Oh, that baby. Is me, little Henry. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. We jump on the bed. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the pond. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the mud. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the sand. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the hay. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the shower. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. 
We jump on the bed. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the pond. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the mud. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the sand. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the hay. Jump, jump, jump. We jump in the shower. Yummy or yucky? This cake is yummy. This carrot is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This chocolate is yummy. This cabbage is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This pudding is yummy. This pear is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This sausage is yummy. This salad is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This cookie looks yummy, but my teeth hurt. My teeth don't. I'll have it. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Yummy or yucky? This cake is yummy. This carrot is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This chocolate is yummy. This cabbage is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This pudding is yummy. This pear is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This sausage is yummy. This salad is yucky. No, it's not. I'll have it. This cookie looks yummy, but my teeth hurt. My teeth don't. I'll have it. I love my dad. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. He always puts me on his lap and tells me stories. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. He often lifts me high and makes me happy. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. Every morning when I wake up, his beard gently tickles my cheek. When I feel down and don't want to eat, he turns into a clown to make me happy. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. Whenever I need him, he's there for me. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. I love my dad. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. He always puts me on his lap and tells me stories. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. He often lifts me high and makes me happy. 
I love my dad, and my dad loves me. Every morning when I wake up, his beard gently tickles my cheek. When I feel down and don't want to eat, he turns into a clown and encourages me. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. Whenever I need him, he's there for me. I want to. There's so many things I want to do. I want to sing. I want to wear pink. I want to drive a train. I want to fly a plane. I want to swing a cane. I want to make it rain. I want to cook some peas. I want to serve some tea. I want to draw some sheep. But now I need some sleep. Sweet dreams. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. I want to. There are so many things I want to do. I want to sing. I want to wear pink. I want to drive a train. I want to fly a plane. I want to swing a cane. I want to make it rain. I want to cook some peas. I want to serve some tea. I want to draw some sheep. But now. I need some sleep. Sweet dreams. Bath time fun. Into the water, three, two, one. Baby bath time, lots of fun. Sing a rub a dub in the tub, mommy, mommy, give me a scrub. Wash my hands, wash my toes, wash my hair with lots of soap. Spray some water with my toys. A floating duck adds extra joy. Here's my towel. Time to dry, mommy, mommy. Give me a wipe. Put on my jammies. Toddle away. I want bath time every day. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Bath time fun. Into the water, three, two, one. Baby bath time, lots of fun. Sing a rub a dub in the tub. Mommy, mommy, give me a scrub. Wash my hands, wash my toes, wash my hair with lots of soap. Spray some water. With my toys, a floating duck adds extra joy. Here's my towel. Time to dry. Mommy, mommy, give me a wipe. Put on my jammies. 
toddle away. I want bath time every day. Mom falls asleep. I'm Lucy. I always keep my mom busy. Mom, I'm hungry. Where's my candy? Mom, I want to pee. Take me, take me. Mom, play with me, please, please. Mom, I hurt my knee. It starts to bleed. Mom, tell me a story. The one about Bunny. But Mom barely starts the story. Before she falls asleep beside me. Mom, let's go to sleep. Stay here with me. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Mom falls asleep. I'm Lucy. I always keep my mom busy. Mom, I'm hungry. Where's my candy? Mom, I want to pee. Take me, take me. Mom, play with me, please, please. Mom, I hurt my knee. It starts to bleed. Mom, tell me a story. The one about Bunny. But Mom barely starts the story before she falls asleep beside me. Mom, let's go to sleep. Stay here with me. What's that? Look. It's a zoo. Let's go in. Do you know all the animals here? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. What's that with a long trunk? It's an elephant. What do elephants like? They like bananas. What's that with a thick coat? It's a sheep. What do sheep like? They like grass. What's that with long ears? It's a rabbit. What do rabbits like? They like carrots. What's that with black and white fur? It's a panda. Pandas like bamboos. Wow! You do know a lot. Let's see. Is that a rock? No, it's a tortoise. Tortoises like vegetables. Bravo! Good for you. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. What's that? Look, it's a zoo. Let's go in. Do you know all the animals here? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. What's that with the long trunk? It's an elephant. What do elephants like? They like bananas. What's that with a thick coat? 
It's a sheep. What do sheep like? They like grass. What's that with long ears? It's a rabbit. What do rabbits like? They like carrots. What's that with black and white fur? It's a panda. Pandas like bamboos. Wow, you do know a lot. Let's see. Is that a rock? No, it's a tortoise. Tortoises like vegetables. Bravo! Good for you. I can. I can do everything by myself. I can get dressed. I can make my bed. I can brush my teeth. I can wash my face. I can go to school all by myself. Well, almost. I can play by myself. But I don't want to. I can read by myself. Well, I will. I can clean my room all by myself. I can take a bath. I can go to sleep all by myself. But I don't want to. I want a kiss and a hug from my mom. Now I can go to sleep all by myself. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. I can. I can do everything by myself. I can get dressed. I can make my bed. I can brush my teeth. I can wash my face. I can go to school all by myself. Well, almost. I can play by myself, but I don't want to. I can read by myself. Well, I will. I can clean my room all by myself. I can take a bath. I can go to sleep all by myself, but I don't want to. I want a kiss and a hug from my mom. Now I can go to sleep all by myself. The shape book. I'm a triangle. I have three sides like a hill. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a square. I have four sides like a box. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a rectangle. I have four sides, but look taller than a square, like a building. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a circle. I have no sides, like a wheel. Can you find me anywhere? I'm an oval. I look like a circle, but longer, like an egg. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a star. I have five points, 
just like a star. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a pentagon. I have five points, like a house. Can you find me anywhere? Can you find us anywhere? Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. The Shape Book. I'm a triangle. I have three sides, like a hill. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a square. I have four sides, like a box. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a rectangle. I have four sides, but look taller than a square, like a building. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a circle. I have no sides, like a wheel. Can you find me anywhere? I'm an oval. I look like a circle, but longer, like an egg. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a star. I have five points, just like a star. Can you find me anywhere? I'm a pentagon. I have five points, like a house. Can you find me anywhere? Can you find us anywhere? The missing sheep. Jack took his sheep out to graze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lovely fluffy sheep. Jack lay on the slope and watched clouds. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven lovely fluffy sheep. Wait, where is the littlest sheep? Ah, there you are, right behind that tree. Jack brought the sheep to a small pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lovely fluffy sheep. Wait, the littlest sheep is missing from my flock. Ah, there you are, right behind that rock. The sun went down, and Jack took his sheep home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lovely fluffy sheep. Wait, the littlest sheep is missing. Where can she be? Ah, here you are, right behind me. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today. I'm going to read you a story. The missing sheep. Jack took his sheep out to graze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lovely fluffy sheep. 
Jack lay on the slope and watched the clouds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lovely fluffy sheep. Wait, where is the littlest sheep? Ah, there you are, right behind the tree. Jack brought the sheep to a small pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lovely fluffy sheep. Wait, the littlest sheep is missing from my flock. Ah, there you are, right behind the rock. The light began to fade as Jack took his sheep home. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven lovely fluffy sheep. Wait, the littlest sheep is missing. Where can she be? Ah, here you are, right behind me. The color book. Red is the apple. Red is the rose. Yellow is the mango. Smell it with your nose. Green is the grass. Green is the tree. Orange is the orange. Juicy and sweet. Blue is the sea. Blue is the sky. The sky turns black. Deep in the night. Gray is the wolf. Gray is the rock. Gray is the mouse running in the house. White is the snow. White is the cloud. Brown is the bear snoring loud. Red, yellow, green. Orange, blue, black, gray, white, brown. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "The Color Book." Let's begin. The color book. Red is the apple. Red is the rose. Yellow is the mango. Smell it with your nose. Green is the grass. Green is the tree. Orange. Is the orange juicy and sweet? Blue is the sea. Blue is the sky. The sky turns black deep in the night.
Gray is the wolf. Gray is the rock. Gray is the mouse running in the house. White is the snow. White is the cloud. Brown is the bear snoring loud. Green, blue, orange, red, brown, white, yellow, gray, black. The end. I like rain. I like rain. I don't like rain. I like to walk in the rain and feel the raindrops on my face. I hate to walk in the rain and get mud on my shoes. I like heavy rains. I can listen to the raindrops tapping the window. I hate heavy rains. I'm stuck inside the house all day. I like it when the rain stops. I go out and the world is clean and fresh. I hate it when the rain stops. I go out. And I have to walk around all the puddles. This is me. I like rain when I feel good. I hate rain when I feel bad. How about you? Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "I Like Rain." Let's begin. I like rain. I like rain. I don't like rain. I like to walk in the rain and feel the drizzle on my face. I hate to walk in the rain and get mud splatters on my shoes. I like heavy rains. I can listen to the raindrops tapping the window. I hate heavy rains. I'm stuck inside the house all day. I like it when the rain stops. I go out, and the world is clean and fresh. I hate it when the rain stops. I go out, and I have to walk around all the puddles. This is me. I like rain when I feel good. I hate rain when I feel bad. How about you? The end. I like rain. I like rain. I don't like rain. I like to walk in the rain and feel the raindrops on my face. I hate to walk in the rain and get mud on my shoes. I like heavy rains. I can listen to the raindrops tapping the window. I hate heavy rains. 
I'm stuck inside the house all day. I like it when the rain stops. I go out and the world is clean and fresh. I hate it when the rain stops. I go out and I have to walk around all the puddles. This is me. I like rain when I feel good. I hate rain when I feel bad. How about you? Sam and Cam. Sam and Cam are best friends, but they are very different. Sam is tall. Cam is short. Sam likes to play basketball. Cam likes to read. Sam always bumps his head. Cam can't reach the books on the top shelf. Sam and Cam are very different, but they're always together. They walk in the rain together. They play hide and seek together. Together, they help a child get her ball down. Together, they help an old lady get her shopping done. Sam and Cam are very different, but they are best friends. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. Sam and Cam. Sam and Cam are best friends, but they are very different. Sam. Is tall. Cam is short. Sam likes to play basketball. Cam likes to read. Sam always bumps his head. Cam. Can't reach the books on the top shelf. Sam and Cam are very different, but they are always together. They walk in the rain together. They play hide and seek together. Together. They help a child get her ball down. Together, they help an old lady get her shopping done. Sam and Cam are very different, but they are best friends. The end. My five senses. I have two eyes. Look, it's an apple. I can see the apple with my eyes. It's red. I have two ears. Listen, it's a bird singing. I can hear the bird singing with my ears. It's beautiful. I have a nose. Sniff, sniff. It's a rose. I can smell the rose with my nose.
It's pleasant. I have a tongue. Lick, lick. It's an ice cream. I can taste the ice cream with my tongue. It's sweet and cold. I have two hands. Stroke, stroke. It's a cat. I can feel the cat's fur with my hands. It's smooth. I have two eyes, two ears, a nose, a tongue, and two hands. It's great. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I will read you a story. It's called "My Five Senses." Let's begin. My five senses. I have two eyes. Look, it's an apple. I can see the apple with my eyes. It's red. I have two ears. Listen, it's a bird singing. I can hear the bird singing with my ears. It's beautiful. I have a nose. Sniff, sniff. It's a rose. I can smell the rose with my nose. It's pleasant. I have a tongue. Lick, lick. It's an ice cream. I can taste the ice cream with my tongue. It's sweet and cold. I have two hands. Stroke, stroke. It's a cat. I can feel the cat's fur with my hands. It's smooth. I have two eyes, two ears, a nose, a tongue, and two hands. It's great. The end. How many peaches? In the forest walks a little monkey. He takes three peaches to his mommy. On the way home, he is thirsty. Oh, I can eat one peach and leave two for my mommy. He eats one peach. He eats another peach. He eats all three. He is no longer thirsty, but he is sorry. What else can I take to my mommy? He walks on and sees a big tree full of peaches. I can pick some more for my mommy. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six peaches. How happy she will be! He goes back home and takes out the peaches. One, two, three, three peaches. Mommy is very happy. But why does the little monkey? Look a bit sorry. Hello, everyone. 
，这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today I'm going to read you a story called "How Many Peaches." Let's begin. How many peaches in the forest walks a little monkey? He takes three peaches to his mommy. On the way home, he is thirsty. Oh, I can eat one peach and leave two for my mommy. He eats one peach. He eats another peach. He eats all three. He is no longer thirsty, but he is sorry. What else can I take to my mommy? He walks on and sees a big tree full of peaches. I can pick some more for my mommy. One, two, three, four, five, six, six peaches. How happy she will be! He goes back home and takes out the peaches. One, two, three. Three peaches. Mommy is very happy. But why does the little monkey look a bit sorry? The end. What do animals say? Danny loves Grandpa's farm animals. They make lovely sounds, but what are their names? Danny asks Grandpa. Oink oink, what's that? It's a pig. Pig says oink oink. Moo moo. What's that? It's a cow. Cow says moo moo. Ba ba. What's that? It's a sheep. Sheep says ba ba. Bow wow. What's that? It's a dog. Dog says, "Bow wow." Purr, purr. What's that? It's a cat, my kid. I know. Cat says, "Meow, meow." Yes, cat says, "Meow, meow," when it's awake. But it says purr purr when it's asleep. Look at the cat in my arms. It snores loudly in its sweet dream. Purr purr, a sleeping cat says, purr purr. Grandpa, what do I say when I am asleep? You are such a happy boy. You always giggle in your dream. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "What." Do animals say? Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's begin. What do animals say? Danny loves Grandpa's farm animals. They make lovely sounds. But what are their names? Danny asks Grandpa. Oink, oink! What's that? It's a pig. Pig says oink, oink. <coughs> moo, moo! What's that? It's a cow. Cow says moo, moo. <coughs> What's that? It's a sheep. Sheep says ba ba. <laughs> ba wow! What's that? It's a dog. Dog says ba wow. <laughs> purr purr. What's that? It's a cat, my kid. I know. Cat says meow meow. <coughs> yes, cat says meow meow when it's awake. But it says purr purr when it's asleep. Look at the cat in my arms. It snores loudly in its sweet dream. Purr purr, a sleeping cat says purr purr. Grandpa, what do I say when I am asleep? You are such a happy boy. You always giggle in your dream. <laughs> The end. Two little mice. Two little mice go out to play. They have a rest under a tree, and talk about where they should go. We can go and climb the mountain, says the white mouse. We can sit by the river and have a picnic, says the gray mouse. I don't want to sit by the river; it's too boring," says the white mouse. "I don't want to climb the mountain; it's too tiring," says the gray mouse. An hour later, they still haven't made up their mind. "I'm hungry," says the white mouse. I'm hungry too," says the gray mouse. "I have some cookies," says the white mouse. "I have some cheese," says the gray mouse. "Hey, why don't we have a picnic here?" says the white mouse. "Great, I like picnics." Says the gray mouse. Me too. Let's eat. Says the white mouse. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story. It's called Two Little Mice. Let's begin. Two little mice. 
Two little mice go out to play. They have a rest under a tree, and talk about where they should go. We can go and climb the mountain," says the white mouse. We can sit by the river and have a picnic," says the gray mouse. I don't want to sit by the river; it's too boring," says the white mouse. I don't want to climb the mountain. It's too tiring," says the gray mouse. An hour later, they still haven't made up their mind. "I'm hungry," says the white mouse. "I'm hungry too," says the gray mouse. "I have some cookies," says the white mouse. I have some cheese," says the gray mouse. "Hey, why don't we have a picnic here?" says the white mouse. "Great, I like picnics," says the gray mouse. "Me too. Let's eat," says the white mouse. The end. The season book. I am an oak tree. In spring, my branches stretch out after a long winter's rest. Birds nesting on me sing a morning song. Bees and butterflies dance around me. In summer, children run around me. Playing hide and seek. I lower my branches and green leaves to the ground, so they have more places to hide. I give them shade. They give me lots of joy. In autumn, my leaves flutter from my body, and my acorns fall to the ground. Squirrels gather my acorns for winter. Children gather them for fun. Leaves on nearby trees turn yellow, red, and orange. Mine turn brown. In winter, wind howls and snow covers the world. Squirrels and rabbits sleep in my hollows. Quietly awaiting the return of another spring. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called The Season Book. Let's begin. The Season Book. I am an oak tree. In spring, my branches stretch out after a long winter's rest. Birds nesting on me sing a morning song. Bees and butterflies dance around me. In summer, children run around me playing hide and seek. I lower my branches and green leaves to the ground, so they have more places to hide. I give them shades; they give me lots of joy. In autumn, my leaves flutter from my body, and my acorns fall to the ground. Squirrels gather my acorns for winter. Children gather them for fun. 
leaves on nearby trees turn yellow, red, and orange. Mine turn brown. In winter, wind howls and snow covers the world. Squirrels and rabbits sleep in my hollows, quietly awaiting the return of another spring. The end. Mom, I have a toothache. Mary likes nothing but sweet treats. All day long, she screams and screams. I want chocolates. I want ice creams. I don't want to brush my teeth. One day, when she is eating a cake, suddenly she holds one side of her face. Oh, it hurts! Oh, it hurts! I think I have a bad toothache. Mom takes her to the dentist's office. The dentist makes her a long list. Stop eating chocolates. Stop eating ice creams. Twice a day. You must brush your teeth. Mary stops eating sweet treats. Twice a day, she begins to brush her teeth. And now there's something else she likes to eat. Ice cubes. I wonder if they're good for my teeth. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "Mom, I Have a Toothache." Let's begin. Mom, I have a toothache. Mary likes nothing but sweet treats. All day long, she screams and screams. I want chocolates. I want ice creams. I don't want to brush my teeth. One day, when she is eating a cake, suddenly she holds one side of her face. Oh, it hurts! Oh, it hurts! I think I have a bad toothache. Mom takes her to the dentist's office. The dentist makes her a long list. Stop eating chocolates. Stop eating ice creams. Twice a day, you must brush your teeth. Mary stops eating sweet treats. Twice a day, she begins to brush her teeth. And now there's something else she likes to eat. Ice cubes. I wonder if they're good for my teeth. The end. Miss Titch is a witch. Miss Titch is acting very strange. Something about her is quite changed. She has a witch's hat. She wears a witch's robe. Miss Titch is a witch. Oh no! In art class, 
She wants us to draw some ghosts. Mine is pretty, with no hair and no nose. In math class, we have to count lots of spiders. For lunch, she gives us monster sliders. In story hour, she tells scary tales about a wolf that howls and wails. When school is over, she gives us sweets and wishes us luck for trick or treat. Miss Titch is strange, as you've seen, because today is Halloween. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "Miss Titch Is a Witch." Let's begin. Miss Titch is a witch. Miss Titch is acting very strange. Something about her is quite changed. She has a witch's hat. She wears a witch's robe. Miss Titch is a witch. Oh no! In art class, she wants us to draw some ghosts. Mine is pretty, with no hair and no nose. In math class, we have to count lots of spiders. For lunch, she gives us monster sliders. In story hour, she tells scary tales about a wolf that howls and wails. When school is over, she gives us sweets and wishes us luck for trick or treats. Miss Titch is strange, as you've seen. Because today is Halloween. The end. Where is Eddie? Emma likes her room messy. A messy room is perfect for hide and seek. Emma plays hide and seek with her puppy Eddie. Where is Eddie? Is Eddie in front of the curtain? No, he's behind the curtain. Is Eddie on the bed? No, he's under the bed. Is Eddie beside the box? No. He's inside the box. Emma can't find Eddie anywhere. Maybe Eddie is gone. Emma starts to cry. Emma sees Eddie. Eddie sees Emma. They hug each other. Time to clean up. And put things in boxes. One box for books. One box for toys. One box for blocks. And one box for Eddie. Emma likes her room tidy. A tidy room is also perfect for hide and seek. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "Where Is Eddie." Let's begin. Where is Eddie? 
Emma likes her room messy. A messy room is perfect for hide and seek. Emma plays hide and seek with her puppy Eddie. Where is Eddie? Is Eddie in front of the curtain? No, he's behind the curtain. Is Eddie on the bed? No, he's under the bed. Is Eddie beside the box? No. He's inside the box. Emma can't find Eddie anywhere. Maybe Eddie is gone. Emma starts to cry. Emma sees Eddie. Eddie sees Emma. They hug each other. Time to clean up and put things in boxes. One box for books. One box for toys. One box for blocks. And one box for Eddie. Emma likes her room tidy. A tidy room is also perfect for hide and seek. The end. Benny Bear went over the mountain. Benny Bear lived at the foot of the mountain. He wanted to go over the mountain. He wanted to see what was on the other side. He asked his mom, When can I go over the mountain? When you're older, my dear, said his mom. Am I older now? Not yet. You're still young. The next day, Benny asked, Am I older now? Can I go over the mountain? Not yet. You're still young. On the third day, Benny asked, Can I go over the mountain now? I'm sure I'm older. Fine. You can go today. Dad and I will watch you as you climb. So Benny started to climb the mountain. I'm sure the other side of the mountain has better views. Maybe there will be dragons and monsters. He climbed and climbed. When he reached the top of the mountain, he was really tired. He looked over the other side. There were mountains after mountains stretching far, far away. The tops of some mountains reached into the clouds. It was beautiful. He looked over this side of the mountain and saw Mom and Dad standing outside their home waving to him. I think I like this side of the mountain better, Benny said, and went down the mountain, faster than when he went up. Mom, I like our side of the mountain better, he yelled as he threw himself into his mom's arms. I thought so, Mom smiled.
Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "Benny Bear Went Over the Mountain." Let's begin. Benny Bear went over the mountain. Benny Bear lived at the foot of the mountain. He wanted to go over the mountain. He wanted to see what was on the other side. He asked his mom, "When can I go over the mountain?" When you're older, my dear," said his mom. "Am I older now?" "Not yet. You're still young." The next day, Benny asked, "Am I older now? Can I go over the mountain?" "Not yet. You're still young," said his mom. On the third day, Benny asked, "Can I go over the mountain now? I'm sure I'm older." His mom said, "Fine, you can go today. Dad and I will watch you as you climb." So Benny started to climb the mountain. I'm sure the other side of the mountain has better views. Maybe there will be dragons and monsters. He climbed and climbed. When he reached the top of the mountain, he was really tired. He looked over the other side. There were. Mountains after mountains, stretching far, far away, the tops of some mountains reached into the clouds. It was beautiful. He looked over this side of the mountain, and saw Mom and Dad standing outside their home, waving to him. I think I like this side of the mountain better," Benny said, and went down the mountain faster than when he went up. "Mom, I like our side of the mountain better," he yelled as he threw himself into his mom's arms. "I thought so," Mom smiled. The end. Benny Bear went over the mountain. Benny Bear lived at the foot of the mountain. He wanted to go over the mountain. He wanted to see what was on the other side. He asked his mom, "When can I go over the mountain?" "When you're older, my dear," said his mom. "Am I older now?" "Not yet. You're still young." The next day, Benny asked, "Am I older now? Can I go over the mountain?" Not yet. You're still young. On the third day, Benny asked, "Can I go over the mountain now? I'm sure I'm older." Fine. You can go today. Dad and I will watch you as you climb. So Benny started to climb the mountain. I'm sure the other side of the mountain has better views. Maybe there will be dragons and monsters. He climbed and climbed, 
when he reached the top of the mountain, he was really tired. He looked over the other side. There were mountains after mountains stretching far, far away. The tops of some mountains reached into the clouds. It was beautiful. He looked over this side of the mountain and saw Mom and Dad standing outside their home, waving to him. I think I like this side of the mountain better, Benny said, and went down the mountain faster than when he went up. Mom, I like our side of the mountain better, he yelled as he threw himself into his mom's arms. I thought so, Mom smiled. Where is our mommy? There are four little tadpoles in the pond. Their mommy is missing. Let's go and find her, one of them says. Okay, let's go, the others say. They don't know what their mommy looks like. So, they go and ask. Are you our mommy? They ask the duck. I'm not your mommy. Your mommy has big eyes, the duck says. They keep looking until they see the goldfish. Look! She has big eyes. She is our mommy. I'm not your mommy. Your mommy has four legs, the goldfish says. They keep looking until they see the turtle. Look, she has big eyes and four legs. She is our mommy. Go away, you silly. She is my mommy. Your mommy wears a green coat and a white shirt, says the baby turtle. What can we do now? Where is our mommy? What if we never find her? The little tadpoles begin to cry. At that moment, a frog swims near. Come here, my babies. I am your mommy. She has big eyes. She has four legs. She wears a green coat and a white shirt. Yes, it's her. She is our mommy. Mommy, mommy. We miss you. They snuggle with their mommy and swim on with her. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called "Where's Our Mommy." Let's begin. Where's our mommy? There are four little tadpoles in the pond. Their mommy is missing. Let's go and find her. One of them says. Okay, let's go. The others say. They don't know what their mommy looks like, so they go and ask. Are you our mommy? 
They ask a duck. I'm not your mommy. Your mommy has big eyes. The duck says. They keep looking until they see the goldfish. Look, she has big eyes. She is our mommy. I'm not your mommy. Your mommy has four legs. The goldfish says. They keep looking until they see the turtle. Look, she has big eyes and four legs. She is our mommy. Go away, you silly! She is my mommy. Your mommy wears a green coat and a white shirt," says the baby turtle. What can we do now? Where's our mommy? What if we never find her? The little tadpoles begin to cry. At that moment, a frog swims near. Come here, my babies. I am your mommy. She has big eyes. She has four legs. She wears a green coat and a white shirt. Yes, it's her. She is our mommy. Mommy, mommy, we miss you. They snuggle with their mommy and swim on with her. The end. Seasons and activities. Spring is coming. The flowers are blooming. We fly kites and have picnics. We eat and run and laugh out loud. We feel refreshed in the open air. Summer is coming. The sun is burning. We go to the beach and swim. Ice creams and cold drinks are our favorites. We just can't have enough of them. Autumn is coming. The air is fresh. We go hiking and pick apples. Our harvest is good, and the apples taste great. We keep going and explore some more. Winter is coming. The snow is falling. We stay at home and have hot tea. Dad tells us stories. Mom makes us a pie. Being with family is cozy and jolly. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called "Seasons and Activities." Let's begin. Seasons and activities. Spring is coming. The flowers are blooming. We fly kites and have picnics. We eat and run and laugh out loud. We feel refreshed in the open air. Summer is coming. 
the sun is burning. We go to the beach and swim. Ice creams and cold drinks are our favorites. We just can't have enough of them. Autumn is coming. The air is fresh. We go hiking and pick apples. Our harvest is good, and the apples taste great. We keep going and explore some more. Winter is coming. The snow is falling. We stay at home and have hot tea. Dad tells us stories. Mom makes us a pie. Being with family is cozy and jolly. The end. Gifts from Grandma. Christmas is coming. Grandma is picking out gifts for Manny. Grandma loves Manny so much. She wants to give him something special, something he would really love. What would he like? Grandma wonders. Is a toy car good? Is a basketball okay? They are all good, but not what I want for my dear grandson. It's Christmas Eve. Manny lies on the mat, wondering what his gifts will be. What gifts will Grandma give me? A cake. Grandma loves baking. A sweater. Grandma loves knitting. A book. Grandma loves reading. On Christmas Day, Grandma comes over with her gifts. They are a cake, a sweater, and a book. Grandma says. I went to the store to look for gifts for you, but I didn't find anything perfect. So I made the cake and the sweater, and I know you love reading as much as I do. Thank you so much, Grandma. Manny says, "I love all the gifts you got me. I love you." Grandma smiles. I love you too. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called "Gifts from Grandma." Let's begin. Gifts from Grandma. Christmas is coming. Grandma is picking out gifts for Manny. Grandma loves Manny so much. She wants to give him something special, something he would really love. What would he like? Grandma wonders. Is a toy car good? Is a basketball okay? They're all good, but not what I want for my dear grandson. 
It's Christmas Eve. Manny lies on the mat, wondering what his gifts will be. What gifts will Grandma give me? A cake. Grandma loves baking. A sweater. Grandma loves knitting. A book. Grandma loves reading. On Christmas Day, Grandma comes over with her gifts. They are a cake, a sweater, and a book. Grandma says, "I went to the store to look for gifts for you, but I didn't find anything perfect. So I made the cake and the sweater." And I know you love reading as much as I do. Thank you so much, Grandma. Manny says, "I love all the gifts you got me. I love you." Grandma smiles. I love you too. The end. I like swimming. I like swimming. In summer, I go to the swimming pool every day. It's my favorite place. Before swimming, I change into my swimwear, and put on my swimming cap. I also put on my swimming goggles. When I was little, I couldn't swim well. I needed a float to help me swim. Now I'm an excellent swimmer, so I don't need to wear it anymore. When the weather is good, my family goes to the beach together. I enjoy being in the water because I feel like a fish. The water keeps me cool, even though the sun is burning. Of course, I still need sunscreen to prevent sunburn. After swimming, my dad always buys me a huge ice cream. I sit on the beach chair and enjoy the ice cream, wondering when I will come back and swim again. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called "I Like Swimming." Let's begin. I like swimming. I like swimming. In summer. I go to the swimming pool every day. It's my favorite place. Before swimming, I change into my swimwear and put on my swimming cap. I also put on my swimming goggles. When I was little, I couldn't swim well. I needed a float to help me swim. Now, I'm an excellent swimmer, so I don't need to wear it anymore. When the weather is good, my family goes to the beach together. I enjoy being in the water, 
because I feel like a fish. The water keeps me cool, even though the sun is burning. Of course, I still need sunscreen to prevent sunburn. After swimming, my dad always buys me a huge ice cream. I sit on the beach chair and enjoy the ice cream, wondering when I will come back and swim again. The end. The busy mother bird. Mother bird is sitting on her eggs. She is waiting for the eggs to hatch. Rat comes near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, rat! Stay away from my eggs. Rat runs away. One. Two, three, three perfect eggs. Mother bird counts. Skunk comes near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, skunk! Stay away from my eggs. Skunk runs away. One, two, three, three lovely eggs. Mother bird counts. After a while, snake comes near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, snake! Stay away from my eggs. Snake slides away. One, two, three, three precious eggs. Mother bird counts. Suddenly, Mother Bird feels the eggs moving. Crack, crack, crack. One, two, three. Out come three baby birds. Chirp, chirp, chirp. How happy Mother Bird is! And how busy she is! Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called "The Busy Mother Bird." Let's begin. The Busy Mother Bird. Mother Bird is sitting on her eggs. She is waiting for the eggs to hatch. Rat sneaks near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, rat! Stay away from my eggs. Rat scampers away. One, two, three, three perfect eggs. Mother bird counts. Skunk passes by. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, skunk! Stay away from my eggs. Skunk runs away. One, two, three, three lovely eggs. Mother bird counts. After a while, snake creeps near. Mother bird flaps her wings. 
Go away, snake. Stay away from my eggs. Snake slithers away. One, two, three. Three precious eggs. Mother bird counts. Suddenly, mother bird feels the eggs moving. Crack, crack, crack. One, two, three. Out come three baby birds. Chirp, chirp, chirp. How happy Mother Bird is, and how busy she is. The end. The busy Mother Bird. Mother Bird is sitting on her eggs. She is waiting for the eggs to hatch. Rat comes near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, rat! Stay away from my eggs. Rat runs away. One, two, three, three perfect eggs. Mother bird counts. Skunk comes near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, skunk! Stay away from my eggs. Skunk runs away. One, two, three, three lovely eggs. Mother bird counts. After a while, snake comes near her eggs. Mother bird flaps her wings. Go away, snake! Stay away from my eggs. Snake slides away. One, two, three, three precious eggs. Mother bird counts. Suddenly, mother bird feels the eggs moving. Crack! 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 One, two, three. Out come three baby birds. Chirp, chirp, chirp. How happy Mother Bird is, and how busy she is. The snowman. It's winter time. Rabbit wakes up to find the world white with snow. She runs outside and hops up and down in the snow. I'm going to make a snowman, she says. Wait, I will invite my friends, and we will make the snowman together. Bear, mouse, bird, and pig come. Bear makes a big snowball. This will be the snowman's body. Mouse makes a small snowball. This will be the snowman's head. Rabbit finds two carrots. These will be the snowman's ears. Bird finds two twigs. These will be the snowman's wings. Pig finds an onion. This will be the snowman's snout. Then mouse and bear each put a stone as the snowman's eyes. The snowman is finished. But rabbit is not pleased. 
It doesn't look like a snowman. Her friends ask, What does it look like? Rabbit puts two chili peppers on the snowman's head. It looks like a snow monster. What a funny snow monster! Rabbit and her friends cheer. And they play in the snow all day. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "The Snowman." Let's begin. The Snowman. It's winter time. Rabbit wakes up to find the world white. With snow, she runs outside and hops up and down in the snow. I'm going to make a snowman, she says. Wait, I will invite my friends, and we will make the snowman together. Bear. Mouse, bird, and pig come. Bear makes a big snowball. This will be the snowman's body. Mouse makes a small snowball. This will be the snowman's head. Rabbit finds two carrots. These will be the snowman's ears. And bird finds two twigs. These will be the snowman's wings. Pig finds an onion. This will be the snowman's snout. Then, mouse and bear each put a stone as the snowman's eyes. The snowman is finished, but rabbit is not pleased. It doesn't look like a snowman. Her friends ask, "What does it look like?" Rabbit puts two chili peppers on the snowman's head. It looks like a snow monster. What a funny snow monster! Rabbit and her friends cheer, and they play in the snow all day. The end. Have you found your hat? Mom and Dad are taking Emma out on a picnic. When they're leaving, Emma can't find her hat. Where's my hat? Emma asks. I don't know. Go and look for it, Mom says. Emma goes back to her bedroom and looks for her hat. She looks in the drawer and calls out, "Wow, it's the yo-yo I lost a long time ago." She begins to play with the yo-yo. When she feels bored, she digs deeper into the drawer. She finds the doll she lost a year ago. How exciting! She says and begins to play dress up. With the doll. Then she looks into the closet. Oh, 
Oh, it's the headband I lost, she says, and tries it on in front of the mirror. How lovely I look. At that moment, Mom calls from downstairs. Emma, it's time to go. Have you found your hat? Oh, no, I forgot about it. Emma begins to dig again. Have you found your hat? Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语，我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a book called "Have You Found Your Hat." Let's begin. Have you found your hat? Mom and Dad are taking Emma out on a picnic. When they're leaving, Emma can't find her hat. Where's my hat? Emma asks. I don't know. Go and look for it, Mom says. Emma goes back to her bedroom and looks for her hat. She looks in the drawer and calls out, "Wow, it's the yo-yo I lost a long time ago." She begins to play with the yo-yo. When she feels bored, she digs deeper into the drawer. She finds the doll she lost a year ago. How exciting! She says, and begins to play dress up with the doll. Then she looks into the closet. Oh. It's the headband I lost," she says, and tries it on in front of the mirror. How lovely I look! At that moment, Mom calls from downstairs. Emma, it's time to go. Have you found your hat? Oh no! I forgot about it. Emma begins to dig again. The end. Cody can't bark. Cody lives on a farm. He is a puppy, but he isn't sure about it. All the dogs can bark except him. Woof woof. Am I really a dog or something else? He wants to find out. He goes to the ducks and asks, "Do you think I could be a duck?" The ducks quack and answer, "No, you can't be a duck. You are a dog. Ducks can quack, but you can't." Quack quack. He goes to the cow. Do you think I could be a cow? The cow moos and answers, "No, you can't be a cow, my dear. Cows moo." Moo, moo. Cody is not happy. He goes to the squirrel and asks the same question: "Do you think I could be a squirrel?" The squirrel chirps and answers: "No, you can't be a squirrel. 
Squirrels chirp. But you're a dog. You're supposed to bark. Chirp, chirp. But I can't bark. Why is it? He wonders. It's getting dark. Cody goes back to his house, tired and sad. On the way, he sees a man carrying a large bag from the farmer's house. He needs to do something and fast. Woof, woof! He barks at the man. Grr, woof! The farmer hears the sound and comes out. The man drops the bag and runs away. Cody is happy, so I am a dog after all. It takes a thief for me to find out. Hello, everyone. 这里是小华亲子英语。我是你们的小华老师。Today, I'm going to read you a story called "Cody Can't Bark." Let's begin. Cody can't bark. Cody lives on a farm. He is a puppy. But he isn't sure about it. All the dogs can bark, except him. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Am I really a dog, or something else? He wants to find out. He goes to the ducks. And asks, "Do you think I could be a duck?" The ducks quack and answer, "No, you can't be a duck. You're a dog. Ducks can quack, but you can't. Quack quack, quack quack." <laughs> He goes to the cow. Do you think I could be a cow? The cow moves and answers, "No, you can't be a cow, my dear. Cows moo, moo, moo." <coughs> Cody is not happy. He goes to the squirrel and asks. The same question. Do you think I could be a squirrel? The squirrel chirps and answers, "No, you can't be a squirrel. Squirrels chirp, but you're a dog. You're supposed to bark. Chirp, chirp." <laughs> But I can't bark. Why is it? He wonders. It's getting dark. Cody goes back to his house, tired and sad. On the way, he sees a man carrying a large sack from the farmer's house. He needs to do something. And fast, woof woof, he barks and snarls at the man. Woof 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 woof. Ah! The farmer hears the sound and comes out. The man drops the sack and runs away. Woof woof. Cody is relieved. So I am a dog after all. It takes a thief for me to find out. The 
end. Cody can't bark. Cody lives on a farm. He is a puppy, but he isn't sure about it. All the dogs can bark except him. Woof, woof! Am I really a dog or something else? He wants to find out. He goes to the ducks and asks, Do you think I could be a duck? The ducks quack and answer, No, you can't be a duck. You are a dog. Ducks can quack, but you can't. Quack, quack. He goes to the cow. Do you think I could be a cow? The cow moos and answers. No, you can't be a cow, my dear. Cows moo. Moo, moo. Cody is not happy. He goes to the squirrel and asks the same question. Do you think I could be a squirrel? The squirrel chirps and answers. No, you can't be a squirrel. Squirrels chirp, but you're a dog. You're supposed to bark. Chirp, chirp. But I can't bark. Why is it, he wonders. It's getting dark. Cody goes back to his house, tired and sad. On the way, he sees a man carrying a large bag from the farmer's house. He needs to do something, and fast. Woof, woof, he barks at the man. Grrr, woof. The farmer hears the sound and comes out. The man drops the bag and runs away. Cody is happy. So I am a dog after all. It takes a thief for me to find out. Fox and